I want to do this as an addition to my last video so that everybody can realize how much is involved with this, uh, what I'm going to say, retribution and redistribution from the false prophets and the false churches. Now understand that anybody and everybody is entitled to file a civil suit, a civil action uh, to regain monies from these false prophets. And by means, I mean any of these churches and their partners that proclaimed Trump prophecy, how Trump would be placed back in office. And these are big names, everybody. These are huge names. And their partners like Kenneth Copeland. Realize this, Kenneth Copeland is a partner with all these other false prophets. So a a civil suit can be brought against these ones by not just individuals, but they can be brought by churches. Understand this. This is very important. And I want to emphasize this, and I cannot emphasize this enough, that these civil suits can be brought by churches under the claim that there has been spiritual damage to the church by these false prophets who proclaim to be Christian prophets, prophets sent by our Christian God, Jesus Christ, and see that the law stands with you. Not only the civil laws that exist in our society today, which is that law fraud in the inducement through undue influence, but also the federal statutes coincide with the laws that I presented before, which is Deuteronomy 18. That when a prophet, and, and remember, these uh, the Old Testament is what's known as the law and the prophets because they have to be held to account under the law. Very important to understand that. So what I've shown in Jeremiah... And in Deuteronomy, these false prophets have to be held to account under the law, just as stated in Scripture. And the church, any and every church that, that wishes to file a suit on its behalf and on behalf of its congregation and church can do so and reclaim the prophets that they have stolen that these false prophets have stolen and conned the people out of given their Trump prophecy. And realize this, these false prophets knew exactly what they were doing because Trump prophecy, anything regarding Trump brings in big money because he's controversial, very controversial. So they knew when they jumped on the, the Trump prophecy bandwagon that they were all, all they were out to do was enrich themselves at the expense of others' faith. So see that you can take back those monies. The true church can take those monies back and redistribute those monies to the people that do need it, to the churches that do need it, the people that need help uh, with food, with clothes, with housing expenses, especially in these times. So this is why it's important for the church to act on behalf of true Christians whose faith these ones have destroyed. Realize these ones have destroyed, uh, contributed to destroying the faith of their followers, and the church can use this opportunity to redistribute Take back those monies and redistribute them to the people that are in vital need of these monies in the hard times that we're going through in the hard times that are ahead. So as church leaders, you need to act as a in a leadership role. Take back those, those profits that these con artists, these false profits have stolen from people and redistribute it. You can, you can build up your storehouses so that ones can eat, so that none go without, so that the true, the true church can regain its glory. 
by giving back to the people what these false prophets have stolen from the people. This is what makes you a true church. Give back to the people what the false prophets have stolen and give glory back to the Lord and, and redeem the true church. This is what's important. Be as a leader and lead by example. Hold them to account and build back up the Christian faith. Be sure to spread the message. This law is called fraud in the inducement through undue influence. And anybody, any Christian can file under it. And any church especially has a claim to it. The true churches absolutely have a claim to the prophets. And we're not talking about a little bit of profit, people. We're talking about hundreds of of millions of dollars over the last few years, these false prophets and false churches have raked in hundreds of millions of dollars. Do you realize how much good that can be put to use? How many lives that can change? How many people that can take off of the streets? How many hungry stomachs that can feed? The church needs to take back its glory and its integrity and redeem itself from what these false prophets have done to the Christian faith in the Christian church, how they have put a scar. These false prophets have scarred the faith and scarred the church. Hold them to account. Find lawyers and hold them to account under the law because that is exactly what they violated, which is the law and the prophets, the Old Testament. Be sure to stay in the word and spread this message, people. This is the seed that you need to spread. All this money that they have conned people out of can go to very good use for the homeless, for the needy, and for many other causes good Christian causes, because all they've done with it is enrich and glorify themselves buying fancy cars and airplanes and big new buildings and homes for themselves. They've stored up their cupboards. They've stocked up themselves, but they didn't bother to, to take care of the ones that who were really in need. Call them out, hold them to account, and file your civil action that you are entitled to under the law of the prophets. God bless.